Hi guys. Welcome to Art with Megan. We're doing Monday Monkeys. Monkey Monday. Yup. Let me know if you can hear me. And we'll get started. I hope everybody had a great Easter. I saw a lot of bunnies and little Easter chicks. A lot of people put them in Easter baskets and all kinds of things like that. And it was so much fun to see all of the artwork. It was so much fun. And so this week we have a schedule and we are going to do, Shannon, thank you. I enjoy this a lot. And I need a shout out to the Bellises. Look what they got me. They were listening. And they gave me this sweet little note. And look at that pretty artwork that we did the first day. Isn't that awesome? I want you to know I have already eaten a lot of them. Don't look at my trash can, that's for sure. So, thank you so much. It's one of the thrills of being an art teacher is little, little things like that. And seeing your work. That is also very, very important. But, okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm waiting for a little bit more longer for people to get in. But I wanted to let you know that to d this week we're doing Monday Monkeys. Tomorrow I have something to do, so I can't be with us you tomorrow. So Tuesday is canceled. And then I have Wednesday Elephants. So at 2 o'clock on Wednesday, we'll be doing Elephants. Really fun. I'm so excited about this one. This one's going to be interesting. It's going to be so much easier than you all think. So much. Okay, and then Thursday, we're doing Watercolor Cows. Some of you have already drawn cows with me, but this is in watercolor, so it'll be interesting to see what you all think about it. But today is Monday Monkeys, Monkey Mondays. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started here and uh, while everyone's coming in. So we are doing Monday Monkeys. Tuesday we're off, Wednesday we're doing elephants, and then Thursday we're doing cows. Okay? Alright, all you need in order to do this class is regular paper, or if you want to follow along with me, you can do it with watercolor paper. So this, you do not have to have this brand, and actually I'm going to end up switching to a different brand soon. Um, because I'm running out of this paper. You can take the paper. It's 140 pound. You want paper that's really heavy like that. And I take it and I cut it up in half. And once I cut it up in half, I cut that up in half. And this is my little, um, practice sheets that I've been using. Okay. So that gets that ready. And... You need some, any kind of watercolors will do. This is just a set that I have on Amazon that I love. I love this brand, Angora Watercolors. And um, this is a little 14 set, if I can get it open. And it's a great to travel little set too. Uh, you need a paintbrush. This is, I have no idea what brand it is. It is a called a watercolor mop, M-O-P, brush. And this, it means it is very, very soft. And I think it's probably, it could be, I think it might be squirrel hair. I'm really not sure what it is. But it is really, really soft. And it's my favorite brush by far. Um, it's been well loved. And it's about a quarter of an inch. Yeah, I'd say that's a quarter of an inch, close to it. And you need a paper towel, Okay. And some water. Clean water is the best. And then a pencil. And if you have an old pencil, like me, you don't want to ruin your stuff with that. So get another eraser. <laughs> All right. Okay. So today we first start with practice, of course. We always have to get back in the swing of things once we've had a break, right? And we've got to... Um, think about what we're making today. So we're making this monkey monkey, right? 
So, monkeys have hair. And we've kind of been working on hair with the bunny last week and the chick. But that hair is really nice and fine. Really little bitty. But if you notice, this hair is just a little bit more chunky. Chunky hair, I guess I should say. And so, what you can do here is that this is what we're going to practice. We're going to practice chunky hair this time. We also are going to practice how to shade a circle. Because this circle is really important for us to get the shape of the mouth of the monkey, okay? So, we're going to practice hair and we're going to practice circles for this monkey, okay? Alright, so we are first going to activate our watercolors and the best way to activate our watercolors for me is this little spray bottle with water in it okay but you all can take your water i'm gonna bring it over here so y'all can see it i have this fancy little thing you don't need that little fancy thing of water but i put some water on my brush and then i come over here and i dip it into the color and then i wash it off then I take it in and I put it also in the color, wipe it off, put it in. And you do this for every single color. You get some water on your brush, a lot of water on your brush, you dip it in the color, and then you dip it on your paper towel over and over again until everything has been activated, okay? That is the best way to activate your watercolors. Now, I'm going to move everything up so I can have more room. Yep, there we go. This is going to need to move to the side. And we got a little monkey there. Okay, so first we're going to do the round circle, okay? Remember, watercolors is nothing but layers. So what I'm going to start with is my little... Um, goldy color here okay i'm taking my gold i've got water on my brush i'm taking my gold and i'm going to draw a big old circle basically what i'm mimicking here is his mouth so i'm coming in and i am doing just his a circle okay we're just learning how to do a circle if you notice there i have a little bit more uh, paint on my brush on one side versus the other side and that just happened accidentally but that's a good thing we can actually keep that so we're now going to move to hair we're going to do this back and forth back and forth so I'm wiping off my brush on my paper towel and then what I'm going to do is come over here I'm still working to trying to get it on everybody you can see I'm taking a little bit of water and I'm going to put it in the brown and I'm going to draw a line of hair. We did this with the bunny, right? Y'all remember that? And I'm going to do it all the way across. I'm going to do it this way next, sideways. And I'm going to continue that all the way across. So that's one way. So I've done it straight up and down. And then I did it angled. And I'm going to now angle to the other side. One, so the one thing that this is doing is it's teaching you how to do different angles with your brush. Like how to hold your brush, right? We're also trying to figure out how close we can get each one of these little tick marks. And that is going to help us figure that. Well, it's helping us figure out control. Okay, and for the sake of argument, because I really like this pattern that we got going, we are now going to do tick, 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 tick. Straight, 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 straight. Not dots, I want dashes right down the middle. Okay, so this is our first step. This is our first practice run, right? We're gonna come back up to our circle and we're gonna figure out how to make him even more of a circle. So a sphere, a round ball, which I have some, but I apparently did not bring any to this demonstration. Okay, so if you have a round ball, 
it does this, right? It goes around something. And on the edges of that round ball, it's a little bit darker. So if the light, I'm going to write a little arrow here. So my light is coming in from the left, and I'm going to have it hit that little area right there. So I'm going to circle that. You all don't have to do this. I'm showing you all that. All right. Can we all see that little spot? Yep. Okay. So that means wherever the light hits, the darkest is farther away from it. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go back to my goldy color that I had. Put some water on my brush. Put some yellow gold on my brush. And I'm going to come opposite... And I'm going to paint dark. Okay. And now, before I go get more paint, I'm actually going to wipe off my brush just a little bit. And I'm going to get some clean water. So I'm getting clean water. And what I'm going to do is where it was at the very edge, I'm going to pull. See how that water just made that so nice and pretty it made that gradient don't you just oh i love it it's like some weird science experiment like how does how does the paint run okay but we kind of need it to go a little bit farther right because if this is where the light is we got a whole lot of space right here right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a little bit more gold on my brush I'm going to come over here where I painted all of that color or that water. I'm going to do a couple dots in that water. You're going to know if you don't hit water because it's going to be like, well, see, that's water. It's going to be really potent. Potent, meaning very much with pigment, very dark color, very pure color. Okay. So that looks like a harsh line. So what's the best way to do this? What do you think? We add water to that edge. So I'm taking some water every time. And I'm being real careful. Do you see that I'm actually doing it in a circle also? And I'm leaving it the way it is. I think that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to come back down here to my hair. All right. The key to circles is to not overdo them. That is so important. It's, it takes a lot of practice. So I'm coming in with some water on my brush and some dark brown, the same brown that I was using. This should be dry. This hair should be dry. So now I'm going to come in and I'm going to do it right on top, but I'm going to do it kind of in between so if one was happening I'm just kind of coming in here I want them to be a little shorter you see how these are shorter that's what I'm kind of going for I'm going to do the same thing with these over here a little shorter same place I'm starting in the same place and I'm just coming in where I think there's a little white space. And do you see how I'm making layers? I'm going to zoom in for you. Do you all see how the layers are looking right there? And that's how we're getting layers of hair. All right. I'm coming in and I'm going to do this to the bottom half. And it doesn't always have to be like, um, the same what is the word? Length. Doesn't even have to be shorter either because hair is all different, right? <laughs> Especially mine right now. I need a haircut. Oh my goodness, I need a haircut. Okay, so this is, do you see how that's starting to look like hair down here? It's a really pretty pattern. That's really how this goes. Okay, I am now going to, uh, let's start drawing. I think that's what we're going to do. So we've learned, I'm going to, so we learned how to do a sphere. We figure out where the light is and wherever the light is hitting it, 
the opposite side is the darkest. And how we fix that dark is we put a dark line down and then we get some water and we smudge it, right? And we wait for it to bleed. And how we get hair is we do one first, we make sure it dries, then we do a second coat. That is the way it goes. Okay, let us start our monkey. Now, I'm doing this monkey horizontal landscape, mainly because I really wanted to do this little tail part. But you could do it this way if you want, and you didn't have to do a tail. You could do it like that, and you cover him up. That's fine, too, if you didn't want to do that. But I like that tail. That tail, a monkey's tail is funny, right? Okay, so I'm going to move him up to the top there. And I'm going to start. So, guess what? We're going to start with tic-tac-toe. So, I tried to start, not everyone, but almost, in a tic-tac-toe. If you're only doing the head and whatever, you're going to only end up using, well, don't, I think I would say just ignore the tic-tac-toe part. Okay, there, yeah. But if you're doing it horizontal like me, you need to do this. Okay, the reason is, is because this half is going to be the tail and this half is going to be the monkey. So, when we start over here, we're going to start with what kind of shape is that part right there. So, there's a big old circle, right? So, I'm going to do a big old circle. And do y'all see how... I do a real light circle, and I do it big, and I do it few times. The reason I do a few times is because somewhere in there, I'm going to like that line, okay? The other thing is, is I don't put my hand down to do this. I actually draw from my whole, like, shoulder, honestly. My whole arm is moving. Y'all see that? Okay, so that's one thing. Now we're going to do a smaller one up here at the top. Which is kind of squished a little bit. It's kind of an elliptical. Okay? So we've got those two things. Now I'm going to do two. Well, actually, let's erase a few lines. Let's make sure that we're not totally confusing everything here. So I'm going to get that line right in here there you go liking all of that yes I did get rid of everything inside my little monkey's face right now I'm leaving all of my other grid lines okay now I'm gonna do two circles for his eyes actually I'm not gonna do two circles Monkey eyes are very, very similar to human eyes, meaning they're little footballs, ellipticals, eclipses. And so I'm doing two of those, and I'm going to add big old pupils right there. We're looking kind of funny now, aren't we? Okay, in the up here in the top part of this mouth part I'm gonna do kind of a little heart but I'm not gonna put a point you see that and I'm gonna draw two eclipses in there and that's my nose y'all see that real good okay now I'm gonna just draw a real happy smiley face basically half of a circle kind of looks like a banana all right I'm feeling good about this the most of its face is done we now have to add hair so we're gonna come up and I'm gonna do it about a finger finger width above this spot right here and I'm gonna go all the way like that so I've got a half semicircle and then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to add it a little bit farther. And I am going to make 
that f same width all the way around. Y'all see that? Oh, I'm seeing a monkey. He looks so cute. Okay, one of the other things about monkeys is, is their ears. Their ears kind of look like our ears, actually, but they're bigger. So, we're going to start here at the eyeball. This is important that we get by the eyeball. Okay, so, and this is true on humans, too, that the ear starts, like the top part of the ear, not, mm, well, hang on. So, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw... And it goes all the way down to where his mouth is. Our ears are very, very similar to this. Except this part down here actually starts a little bit lower. And this lines up. So the only difference between that is that uh, this tip goes above the ears. Alright, so I'm going to come over here and do the left ear. So I'm starting at the eye. Bringing it up. Down. And around. Now, they're not perfect, but that'll work. And I'm going to do the same shape all over again, right in the middle. And there he is. Going to add a little bit of a body. Now we got to do this fun little tail. The tail's one of my favorite parts. So I'm moving him a little over so y'all can focus here on the tail. So that's why I have these lines still because that's important when we go to draw the tail. Okay, so I'm going to start kind of at his nose. So at his eye is nose level right here. I'm going to put a dot. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put another dot right there you'll see my two dots one and two all right now i'm now going to go i'm going to add another dot there so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make a circle that's going to start it and then I'm going to take this and go all the way down. Big old C. Okay. I'm going to make this one go. I'm extending that a little bit. And now I'm going to make it and come inside and I'm going to repeat the same shape all the way down. Did you all see how I did little short strokes to figure that out? That is very, very helpful. No one says you have to draw a straight line continuously. Most artists don't, actually. Most artists draw only with straight lines. Okay, and that's our little monkey. You all see him? He's pretty cute. Okay, now let's start painting him. What do you say? Let's erase, though, first. So I'm going to erase all my grid lines. Yes, I'm erasing. Now, I bet you, if you all are watching this and you have an art teacher, art teacher might say that you need to make sure that you get every single one of these lines. But I'm not that way. So... Just know that when you go back to school, you might have to be a little bit more picky about cleaning up your lines at your other art teachers. Okay? Now, there's a little face issue happening here that we need to kind of work on, I think. Let's do that real quick. So, do y'all see how his face has this color all the way around so i'm going to connect these two spots so i'm coming in and i'm just connecting that right there and i'm erasing all of this stuff inside it now i'm using a kneaded eraser today a kneaded eraser it's almost like silly putty anybody know what silly putty is well 
it is rubber and it erases really good but every time you get need a new part you just kind of squeeze it together and that's what that does okay how we doing everybody with me yep everybody got a monkey okay all right guys let's start painting painting <laughs> not painting painting okay so i've got my watercolors next to me the first thing i'm gonna do is take some black if you don't have black go ahead and use brown so i'm gonna use black though so i put my water in the brush of my water my brush in the water and then i come over here with some black and i'm going to first do his eyes i'm covering the whole thing monkey's eyes are kind of dark okay i'm gonna do the inside of his little nose now i don't have too much water on my brush you need to make sure that's kind of important because if you don't you're gonna be like oh goodness i got it's gonna be a mess so i'm coming in here and i am do y'all see how fast i'm doing this i know you all are thinking well she's the teacher she can go fast no that's not the reason i'm going fast here i'm laying down the first set of color and that means you don't have to be so neat about it just needs to be some color like that's what we're going for here i'm even going to do the tail also you all will notice that if it's not going you know if it's not being pushed around real easy you probably need a little bit more water but be careful not to have so much water on there. Now, after you've done this part, you need to wash your brush. So, you're going to wipe it on your paper towel and then you're going to put it in your water. Your water, hopefully, does not turn all black because you wiped it on your paper towel. Because you need to have clean water. That's kind of important. That's why I always have a paper towel with me. So, now I'm going to do the inside. So, I'm going to start with my little gold color. Now, in a few other ones, we've talked about making peach. It's not that necessary. Use some yellow at the moment right now. And I'm coming in, and I'm being careful not to touch the black. I will repeat. Are you ready? I'm repeating. I am not touching the black with your colors with this color and I'm painting the whole circle this is that first step right that we were talking about now that part right there on me I needed to paint black but I'm gonna go ahead and paint that brown for the sake of it I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to do the ears the same I'm laying down the whole thing just like that all right inside this nose i'm being really 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 careful and i'm gonna go really careful not to get in that black do you see that i kind of little bitty okay i also did both sides i did every, all of that okay so now believe it or not we're gonna let it dry and we're gonna work on this background yeah, I don't normally go the background this soon. So, the key here is not to have a lot of water. All right, I repeat after me. I will not get a lot of water. I will not get a lot of water. So, I have water on my brush, but I am putting in a little bit on my paper towel, and then I'm coming over here, and I'm getting me some blue. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to paint my background blue. And you see, I've done all of this painting. You know you've got a dry brush when it starts making those little marks. So you go in, you get some more water. I dipped it lightly on that, and then I went back. I want you to not have a lot of water and not a lot of paint here. This is just a little baby background. Okay? 
Don't take forever. It's not necessary. We're just doing a little bit of a background. We're being real careful not to get in the color. I will not paint in the colors. I will not mix my colors right now. <laughs> okay. This is looking good. I just want a little bit of a background. We are honestly doing this so we can have our monkey rest. Do we all know what resting of a monkey looks like? <laughs> Means we're just letting our paint dry. Nothing big. Okay. So here we are. We have our monkey. And now we are going to work back on our hair. Our black hair. Okay. So hopefully if you didn't have a whole lot of water on your brush. This whole thing is not like warping and all that other stuff. It's just sort of warping. Okay, I'm going to get my black. This goes back to our lesson right here with this hair, right? So, how did we do this hair? We started, and this time I'm going to come in. You don't want a lot of water on your brush. And obviously, I have more than I wanted because you can hardly see it. And do you see I'm doing the shape? So I start around the eyeballs and I do little, little tick marks. And I follow the shape of this and just do down. Now, what do you think happens up here at the top? Do you see how I'm following to where at the very top? It's horizontal. Did y'all see that? And the monkey's tail, though, all I'm doing, I'm going to have to pull the face off. Okay. The monkey's tail, though, isn't, gonna, isn't that hairy. So I'm picking one side of this tail, and I'm putting a dark stroke on it. And that's all I'm doing. Okay, I'm washing out my brush. Remember, how do we wash out our brush? We always put it on the paper towel first, and then we put it in the water. Okay, so now we got to work on his face, this part. This goes back to how to make a sphere. Okay, that's what this is. So we're going to say that the light is coming right here, okay? Like right around his nose. So that means the opposite of the nose would be this under part right here on the right. So I'm going to go in with the gold color. The same color that we used before. And I'm going to come in and do my one big stroke. Right? You with me? I'm going to clean off my brush and get some more water. I'm going to come in and remember what we did? We added water just to that edge and we just moved it up we need to make sure that we don't have too much water but just enough all right now that's this half of the mouth part but we got to do something on the top monkeys have these really dark eyeballs dark areas right they go really deep inside so i'm going to take my gold color i don't have a lot of water on my brush and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to draw circles around his eyes, just like that. Okay? Looks like he has sunglasses on. And I'm going to draw a little line right there and a little line right there. Okay, I like that. Y'all seeing that? We're going to do the same thing in the ears, but we're going to do it inside this little area just like that I'm gonna do the outside too so I'm outlining the whole thing in this gold color okay not bad not bad not bad okay now we are gonna go back to the hair hopefully your hair isn't sopping wet mine's almost dry actually and I'm going to get some black. I don't have a lot of water on my brush. 
And I'm going to start back where I was. And I'm going to just add more hair. And I'm just going to add little tick marks over and over again, just like that. I'm going to start over here at this eye, do the same. Do you see how you don't really care about the overlapping, but the overlapping is helping it make it look like it has texture? Monkey's hair has a lot of texture. All right, I'm going to add a little bit down here. Well, because I don't, you don't see a lot of my body, but if you have your body, just do the same thing. Up here at the top, I'm going to do a few others. All the way around. Yep, just like that. Now, I'm going to work on those eyeballs since we have black going on right now. So I'm going to take, I don't have a lot of paint, uh, water on my paintbrush. I'm going directly into my black. And I'm coming in here and I'm going to paint the pupil black. Just like that. Do y'all notice that my pupils are the round, but they're cut off at the tops? Yeah, because if it was round, you wouldn't see this tip part. I'm coming in and I'm doing a little bit in these noses. This time, mm, I don't think I'm going to do anything with his mouth yet. Nope. Okay. Oh, we should do something with his tail again. So I'm coming back to his tail. And I'm doing the same thing that I did before. Going in a dark area. I might do a little bit on the other side. Just a little. Not much. Did you all see that? We're trying to make that tail round. And that means we have to make one side darker than the other. Okay. Are we ready to go back to that face? Are y'all with me? Yeah? Okay. So, here we are. We're going to go back to the face. And we are going to add... I'm going to go with a darker brown this time. Whichever brown that you want. Coming in with some brown. And I'm going to do that same shape here. I didn't do a full on. Well, I am going to do a full circle here. A full circle right here on his face around his eyes. Okay. Now I'm going to do a little bit around his nose too. Just a little bit. Y'all see that? I'm going to take a little bit of this color. And again, back to that light. The light is hitting the nose. We're going to come over here to this bottom half. Now, my bottom half is pretty wet. I know that because it started to bleed right as I put it down. So, I'm going to use that wetness to help make this. Now, I'm going to make it a little bit wetter. And I'm going to just draw circles. You see that? I'm kind of highlighting. But I'm going to leave a little bit with nothing. Do you all see that? We're starting to look round. Do you see a round monkey nose and mouth? Okay, I'm going to take that same brown and I'm going to do this in the ears. And I'm going to do two of those in the ears. One and two. Might do a little bit next to his face down here at the bottom. The reason I'm doing it at the bottoms and where it's connecting is because the hair would be making it really dark. All right. Does anybody feel like I've forgotten about the mouth? I haven't. I promise. Monkeys. I'm doing it at the very, very end. I think we need a little bit more hair. So, I'm going to come in back to my black. Get me some black. And I'm coming up. And I'm adding. 
had a lot more water on my brush that time. This time I pulled down a little bit. So I'm trying to get that. I don't want this perfect line right here. So I'm kind of getting into that area. You don't have to, but I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit. Okay. Looking pretty good. I hope y'all are seeing a monkey. All right, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do the right down here. Yes, good. Now, I'm actually going to take, how do you make a lighter black? Does anyone know with watercolor? You actually add water. Okay, so I'm gonna take some black and I'm gonna put it over here on my top part, just like that. Can y'all see that? And then I'm going to get some water and I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna get it a little bit more water and do that. You see how I'm making that puddles getting bigger and bigger? That also means it's getting lighter and lighter. And the reason I know that, I think I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay, so, is that I want gray. So, I've got a little bit of this color on my brush. And I'm going to come over here into this ear. And I'm going to get in that little area right there. Do you see how powerful that went? That makes those really, really dark, but it dries lighter. But that's also, if you feel like it was too dark, then you know immediately you need to go get some more water and do that exercise all over again. Because I'm going to take, and so if that's the case, you need more, I take maybe a little bit like that, and I add water to that now. See, that's even more of a watered down version. Okay, so that's now my second pile. I'm going to go into my second pile, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to go between his little eyeballs on one side. I'm going to come down here at the bottom, add a little bit there. I'm going to add a little bit to his mouth, making his eyes darker. I'm going to make a little shadow under his nose. Yeah, he's pretty cute. Okay. Now, I kind of want to make... So, I'm filling in these cracks over here at the uh, you know, the sides. I want a more brown. So, I'm going to actually get in here and get some more brown. Okay. Now, I had a lot... Of water on my brush there probably should have had less coming over here in the ears that's looking pretty good I see a monkey all right you've got to wait until this is completely brown in order to do this mouth okay that is a key. I'm going to work on the background a little bit. So, I want you to see what I did with mine. I added another dark blue and a little bit of green. So, I'm going to come in and I'm going to add some more color. And I'm not going to paint the whole thing. I'm only painting parts of it with this color. Yeah, I'm mixing it up, people. I'm mixing it up. Okay, so I've got three areas of dark blue in there, and now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add pure green, bright lime green, and I'm putting it on top of this blue, and it will probably mix it, and that is what we're going for. Keep in mind, if you're mixing and it's starting to mix on the paper like this, don't put it back in your color. You need to wipe it off first and then come in because otherwise you're going to start making an ugly mess with those watercolors. We don't want that, do we? We want to save them. 
because who knows how long we will need them, right? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm liking this. Now, guys, I think you should... I'm going to dry this real quick. You know how I cheat. I have my dryer here that I like to hit it with. But it's mainly because I want to get to my pin part. So you all, if you want to keep working, I'd add some more hair to this. The key is, is that you want some white stuff though. So don't overwork that hair. Okay, I'm hitting it with my dryer real quick. Especially that mouth part because that's really important here. You could paint it, but you still have to have it very dry in order to paint it. That is called painting, well, there's something called painting wet on wet. And that's what we were doing when we did this part right here. We were painting wet on wet. So the paper was wet, the paint, the pa uh, paint is wet and it bleeds all pretty, right? So this is painting wet on dry. Is what we're going for. So that's what this is. So you could do this two ways. I'm going to do it with my paintbrush first. Probably then dry it. I'm going to add a mouth. If this is wet, it would bleed. We don't want that. That's why I didn't do it that way. Okay. And now I'm going to wipe off my brush. This part right in here is bugging me. So I'm coming in with a wet paintbrush. Do you see how I'm making? I'm trying to make that blend a little bit. You see how it's kind of doing it? Okay. It'll work. I'm going to hit it again. Then I'm going to come in here with my pencil. Because the pencil is the funnest part, I think those little details. Now, I want you to take a look at all those little details. Look at that little curly cue up there at the hair. That's what makes him so fun, right? With some personality. But look at what I've done with the eyes. It's pretty much a mess, isn't it? So I don't want you to take, I don't want you to be careful here. I want you to have some fun. So one of the things that I do is I start with my eyes and I come in and I, d I am more careful around drawing the eye part, okay? But did y'all are y'all noticing that I do it with straight lines? I'm coming in, and I'm doing it with this, and I'm doing a big old pupil. Because monkeys have big old pupils. All right, that's looking pretty good. And now I'm going to add this. They have a lot of wrinkles. And so that's why I make a lots of lines in that area. And I bring it across and down in this spot of his face. And I'm then going to come in here with his nose. I'm going to draw those right there. I'm going to take this area, make more of a heart shape with that. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. This was dry on me, so that's why I'm doing this. If this isn't dry, don't do this part. So I've got my little happy face. I'm going to do his ears. Do y'all see how before I do hair and stuff, I do the biggest features? And that is kind of important because, well, you need to accent the things that are important. So I'm going to even do his tail. Now, his tail's not that important. So I don't, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that tail. Okay, y'all see that? Okay, and now I'm going to do a little bit of hair. And let's talk about this curly cue. Don't you love that curly cue? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna start here at the curly at the top. Can everybody see that? And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go. 
It's a scribble. It's a little scribble. And if you're scared, do it on that practice sheet first. And even to make it a little bit better, do you see how I'm coming out from that tip? And I'm making some hair there. You all see that? And do you see how that looks a whole lot better than just plopping it there? So then I'm coming in here and I'm not drawing a whole bunch of hair. I'm drawing just the tips. Now you could sit here and do this. That looks not bad. That's not bad. And he always has wrinkles. They have lots of wrinkles. So don't be afraid of wrinkles. But don't overdo that hair. You want to see your pretty watercolor. Now, one of the things I like about... I'm going to put some eyelashes in there. Hmm. There you go. And that is our monkey, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I am going to sign it. I'm going to keep talking. So if y'all have any questions, you just tell me. And I'm watching the comments. So you can go ahead and say whatever. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to put them down here like that. So you can both see them. Okay. So I want you to know that I have a hydrangea acrylic class that looks like this. And it is next Monday through Wednesday. And it's acrylic. So it's not watercolor. And we're painting this. It's $35, and that right there is the link. It's a crazy link, but it's shorter than what the original link is. So watch for this in um, the replay, and you can pause that and see what that is. Okay? So that is Wednesday. And know that all of my other classes, when we did Nemo and a pig, a parrot, little chicks, and the bunny class last week. All of these are on my YouTube channel under videos. But some of them don't have like the actual thing as the first as the first thing. So you don't know that this is the bunny class. So you might have to look um, and look at the first few minutes of it. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I will not be here tomorrow. Remember, the schedule is... Wednesday and Thursday of this Monday Wednesday and Thursday and Wednesday we're going to be doing this elephant yes we are and then on Thursday we're doing a cow in watercolor okay so I will see you all tomorrow if there's no other questions I'm not seeing any let's see if you have some I don't see any have a wonderful day, and I hope it is starting to have sunshine and get a little warmer outside. Bye, guys. Have fun.